Y'all are getting a lot of money from the people behind these suits if y'all decide to get to play here. That is from one of the A&M staff. I don't know if it's from the coaching staff or not, but that is someone from the A&M staff that was showing recruits exactly what A&M presumably is all about. Could this be tied to NIL? It's a it's a possibility. The pretty much the, the majority of the college football fandom is saying that. Of course, we got the AM defenders that are saying no, it's not. But if it is, I'm telling this right now. Jimbo Fisher is one of the biggest hypocrites of them all. Because let's be honest, I've been saying this for a while. NIL was used for some of those recruits. Some of those recruits, maybe not all of those recruits, but I but NIL was definitely used. Just like how NIL used as soon as as soon as it was uh, legalized. A majority of the country is using that as a part of the recruitment. It, it, it's, a, it's a recruiting pitch. It's a recruiting tool. Nothing wrong with using NIL as a recruiting tool to try to get a kid come play for your university. But Jimbo Fisher and A&M pretty much said that we don't use NIL. Kids want to come here because A&M is a beautiful, gorgeous campus, and they love and and they love and they love, presumably love Jimbo Fisher and the entire coaching staff. And that is pretty much about it. We do not use, we do not pay players. We don't use NIL at all as a recruiting pitch. Well, as you saw in the video, so a lot of people, it does seem like a recruiting pitch. And pretty much, again, the majority of the college football fandom are just absolutely tearing Jimbo Fisher and A&M a new one. And remember, this is the same A&M program that also tried to get Nick Saban suspended, right? They went up to the SC commissioner and they demanded that Nick Saban was should be suspended for his quote unquote allegations of uh you know alleging that Jimbo Fisher and AM are just you know use this plainly use NAL and that was all the way back in May. But for the most part, if if this is true, Nick Saban deserves an apology. Because we might actually have to call Nick Saban the Nostradamus of college football. He has predicted everything when it comes to the major events of college football and he's kind of predicted everything. He talked about conference alignment, how that was going to be an issue, which in the next video I'm going to be talking about is currently right now a huge issue, where is right now presumably a huge issue. He talked about how the transfer portal was going to be a little bit out of control. He was right about that, and he was right about that. And he did say that, listen, you know, it's not like we're going to go after the transfer portal, but he was warning everyone about it. And now look, Alabama is, is pretty much one of the best teams in the country when it comes to using the transfer portal. He talked about early signing day recruitment and how that can affect college football. He talked about the, the new offensive uh, uh, spread system, how that was going to have a huge effect on uh, uh, college football as a whole. He talked about a lot of things, and pretty much almost a majority of them were true. But once again, we, keep cont we continue to try to clown Nick Saban because we don't like the way he says it. Let's be honest. A lot of the stuff he says are facts. But because we don't like the way he says it, whether if it's because it's too aggressive or whatever the hell the reason is, everyone wants to try to come at Nick Saban, pretty much calling him a, a, a whiny crybaby because they believe he can't keep up with the times. Well, based off of the video that we saw, it looks like Nick Saban might be right again. But again, it could have meant a lot of things. Maybe that ain't, he was just trying to show everyone around and maybe he was just talking about the entire campus in general. But again, when you talked about playing behind you know you know if, if you come here basically behind these suits you know the suits i mean what can that mean you know for for a lot of people that's going to mean boosters right that's going to mean boosters that's going to mean uh potential uh deal potential you know companies or corporations that are going to be giving these young men uh nio deals so that is what, what it's going to mean to a lot of people but it is what it is man I, for the most part as you know if, again, if this was tied to NIL, I think everyone deserves to, you know, to owe Nick Saban an apology because Nick Saban has been getting crushed by the college football media and fan base for the last couple months. And uh, based off of this video, Nick Saban might have a point. He actually might be right about this. But let me know your guys' thoughts about this. Uh, I got to hop on the next video because this is absolutely nuts talking about conference realignment again. But I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.